my heart is heavy, as most of yours are probably as well. Last week, uh, the Two Minute Tuesday, I actually recorded that about two or three weeks prior to, and I also recorded this week's Two Minute Tuesday at the same time. So I was ready to roll, I uh, had the Two Minute Tuesday and Thursday kind of ready to go, or 10 Minute Thursday, I should say. And for whatever reason, I just felt like that wasn't the video I was supposed to post. Um, I just felt like uh, there was something the Lord wanted to say, and I was struggling with, okay, Lord, what is it that you're, what, how can I articulate this? Because it's, again, my heart is really heavy, especially after watching uh, the George Floyd video. I mean, that was extremely nauseating and sad, um, and just terrible. With that said, there was, as I was in prayer, the Lord reminded me of a video I did that I recorded uh, in November of 2019. Never published it, never put it out, and I completely forgot about it, and the Lord brought it to my remembrance. And I feel like that's the video I'm supposed to share. By the way, this is going to be longer than two minutes. I was going to edit it down, but you know what? I'm just, I think, I'm just not going to do that. I think this is a unique circumstance. So I hope it speaks to you. So without further ado, let's go. I need to make an apology, but first, it is two minutes Tuesday. <laughs> As you know, two minutes now. Guys, I put out a video and it was saying why John MacArthur is wrong. That's what it was titled. And I want to apologize for that because number one, um, I didn't honor a brother in the Lord by the name of John MacArthur. Listen, I don't dis I don't agree with John MacArthur. I don't agree with his stance on women preachers. I don't agree with his stance on uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit and charismatics and Pentecostals. I don't agree with him whatsoever. But here's the thing, just because I don't agree with him doesn't mean I need to dishonor him because he's still a brother in the Lord. And so I want to apologize for that. Number two, my title was clickbaity. I shouldn't have dishonored someone and say, why John MacArthur's wrong? I probably should have said why John MacArthur's wrong about women preachers and still have honor because here's the thing at the end of the day one thing that i realized about social media it's one of the reasons i'm kind of like staying away from social media outside of uh, posting uh these videos is because of how we lack honor in social media and these are not just not just anyone but like even believers guys uh the culture of heaven is a culture of honor jesus honored people even when he disagreed with them uh think about peter and john uh or Let's say James and John. They're like, Lord, can, should we, you know, this this town, we didn't accept us. Let's pray. Let's call down fire from heaven and burn it down. And he's like, dude, guys, you don't even know what, what you're saying. Because even though what Jesus is saying, even though they disagree with us, doesn't mean we don't love them. And I think that's something we have to remember on social media is even if people disagree with you. Even if they don't have your same political views or your views on on uh, social justice or your views on your sports team. I mean, sports teams maybe because no one likes the Patriots. So they don't share your views on other things. Doesn't mean we need to dishonor the person. We can maybe even say like why we disagree with them, but we should still carry the heart of love. Jesus said, they will know that you are my disciples by the love you have one unto, the, uh, one unto another. This is how the world knows that you are my disciples is not by how often you pray, not by how great you pray, not by the miracle signs and wonders that you have. Paul says, listen, if I pray with tongues of angels, but I have no love, I'm nothing. Jesus said, they will know that you are my disciples by the love you have one to another. And when you have a love for one another, even if you don't know that person well, the way you show love is through honor. So guys, I wanna encourage you, Listen, social media, it's quick to say something quickly. It's quick to just, you know, be angry at someone or be angry at them because they don't see how you see or they're not as woke as you are. Or they're uh, too liberal or too conservative or whatever. I mean, especially in regards to politics. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't love one another. Keep our heart open to love because that's the culture of heaven. It's a culture of honor. And I believe when we honor, when we love one another is when we see and sense God moving. Well, the Bible says it like this, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. You want to have grace operate in your life? Be humble enough to not just point out someone's wrong and just get angry with them and dishonor them. I mean, you can point out someone's wrong, but like how is being right that, that important? Like sometimes, yeah, being right may be really important, but can we love more than being right sometimes? Like can we just love one another? and not like tear someone down because they were wrong. 
because you can tell someone hey you know what like i disagree with you but i still love you i still care about you and show love and and have a heart of love even the tone of love because that's a culture of honor guys listen i'm not perfect at this like i i catch myself dishonoring people because of political views or whatever and i'm trying my best so be gracious to me i'm going to try to be better at this uh, but just know that, you know what, I, I want to carry a culture of honor and love. So to John MacArthur, if you're watching this, my apologies. You're a brother in the Lord. And even if I disagree with you, still want to honor you and the impact you're making for the kingdom. Guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. Talk to you later. Okay, guys. Um, I hope uh, that spoke to you. I hope it speaks volumes to your heart. I hope it blesses you, encourages you. Um, again, just really felt like that was the video I needed to share with you guys. Totally forgot it was even there, but here we are. As a child of an immigrant, as um, a minority myself, uh, I just want to say that uh, we stand with all of our brothers and sisters, especially our black brothers and sisters, and so many of our of, of our friends um, that we've just been walking together, and it's been an amazing journey. And so we just want to let you guys know we stand with you guys. I want to read and just share a few verses with you. I believe it speaks to the kingdom. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26, it's from the Passion Translation. You have all become true children of God by faith of Jesus the Anointed One. It was faith that Im immersed you into Jesus the Anointed One, and now you are covered and clothed with His anointing. Now here's the heart of God, here's, here's how the Kingdom looks. And we no longer see each other in our former state, Jew or non-Jew, rich or poor, male or female, because we're all one through our union with Jesus Christ with no distinction between us. I'm going to give you one other verse real quick. It's uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. Here there is no Greek or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. And so the kingdom, there is no separation. There's no sense of uh, a racial superiority, be it white superiority, black superiority, Asian superiority, Indian superiority, Hispanic. There, there's no... There's none of this. It is Jesus who reigns and all are made in his image and his likeness. And so, uh, as Jesus said, let the kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And we stand with you, including our African-American brothers and sisters, because this is what the kingdom looks like. We are brothers and sisters in Jesus. And so we stand with you guys and we love you all. I hope this blessed you and encouraged you. If it did, let me know. Uh, share in the comments. Talk to you later.